Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desrin. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever if you're new to my channel. Welcome. I'm so excited to be recording today because it's been almost two months since I have uploaded and recorded and this is way long overdue. As most of you know, I made two years on July 22nd. And I cannot be happier with my hair. You guys deserve this update because it's been so long since I've done an update video, period. For some of you guys, you're gonna be thinking like, why is this girl's hair back to dark? Like, why is it black? Y'all, I don't really know where I left off and like what the last thing you guys have seen when it comes to my hair. I'm pretty sure it was still like that orangey ginger color, but it needed to go. It needed to go. I couldn't match anything to my hair and it faded so quickly. I was beyond over it. So I decided let's just go back to dark and honestly, I've been loving it. I am recording like midday. I live on a very busy street so I do apologize for the background noise. But um, I'm gonna try not to make this video too, too long because there's not really a whole lot I need to talk about to be very honest. But yeah, excuse the, the noise in the background. I know it's annoying, it's annoying me, I'm sure it's annoying you. To be very honest, the black is starting to fade out. You can see it close to here. This area was so difficult to dye. My hair like refused to take the dye. I had to do it multiple times. But I did wanna share with you some pictures of what my hair looked like before I went black and I'm also going to be showing you guys some pictures from the beginning of my journey throughout this video just so you guys can really see the growth and how my hair has locked over these last two years. So one of the things I really want to touch on is my ends because some of my ends were looking straggly and sad and very unserious and so now they look more sealed, a little bit more rounded and most of that is because it naturally did that on its own and some of that is because I did cut some of my ends off. I will include some pictures. I cut a very minimal amount of my ends just because it was almost like my lock had sealed at the end but I still had a straggly piece and so I figured at that point like what is that really going to do for anybody? And I noticed that I was feeling myself way more once I cut off those straggly ends because my hair just looked more mature, it looked more locked, and I was loving it. I'm like, okay, I should have been did this all along, but I only did that because my ends were sealed. I'm not going to tell y'all or advise y'all just go cut your hair willy-nilly. That's what you want to do. Be my guest. But that wasn't the intention. The intention was to really just get rid of those dead ends. And also too, you might notice that my hair looks not all one length, but closer to being all one length. I'll give you guys a back view. The longest ones were like hanging. And it was like maybe a handful that were just super long. And then the rest were like all different lengths and it was stressing me out. My goal is to kind of eventually have a bob, so I'm thinking that once my shorter pieces grow out a little bit more, I'll eventually cut it all at one length because I think that that look would be so cute. A natural lock bob? Like, come on, that is just so cute. If you guys remember me doing my lock knots with my extended two strands and I had that bob, Oh, that bob was giving me life, y'all. So imagine, like, me not even having to add hair to do that. Like, it's already kind of giving bob. You know, it's kind of giving bob. So I just need these short pieces to grow out, and we're going to snip, snip, and it's going to be super cute. I think for a while, I was so scared of cutting at my hair and thinking, oh, my ends are going to come out, or my hair is going to loosen, or I just was thinking the end of the world. And once I actually started cutting and realized it wasn't the end of the world, I felt way more comfortable and just way more free with my hair because there were some things I was unhappy about, like the different lengths and the color, and you really just got to do what you think is best for you and your hair. I just was so much more satisfied with the entire look of my hair. I feel like sometimes within the lock community, we feel like, okay, like don't do anything to your hair, don't touch your hair, don't do whatever, but at the end of the day, like, 
this is our hair now. It's a lifestyle. So you want to be happy with it because this is something that you're going to be having long term. So I am definitely way more satisfied with my hair. Like I look in the mirror every day and I'm like, yes, this is it. I'm loving it. And the longer I'm in this journey, the more I feel so fulfilled that I decided to actually lock my hair and I've stuck with it because y'all know I am quick to comb out some locks, but I have committed. I know some of y'all probably like this girl probably did come out her locks because I haven't posted in like two months, but no. We are still here and we are thriving. Other than that, there's really not too, too much to update you guys on other than the length, you know, color. I will say I... I feel like I did talk about this in one of my other videos, but I did start using conditioner in my hair now. I've been doing that ever since I bleached my hair. And that's just because my hair is definitely a little bit drier than it was before. Adding in the conditioner to my wash days has definitely helped with that. And you know, just making sure that I'm moisturizing as needed, of course. This video is also for the people that are constantly asking, well, does your hair get thicker? Will my locks get thicker over time? They most definitely will. Because once you see these pictures and you see my locks now, they will definitely thicken up. I am noticing that my hair is less frizzy too. So yeah, I have like very minimal frizz around my locks. They don't stick together as easily anymore. If they do stick together, it's more so at my roots and not the actual length of my hair. And also y'all, I can get a retwist done in less than an hour and 20 minutes now, which is amazing. But that's the great thing about having locks is that it can definitely get easier to maintain your hair on your own over time. Of course, the longer your hair gets, then yes, it's a little bit more difficult when it comes to wash days. As far as retwisting goes, like my retwists are a breeze now. Not much has really changed when it comes to my routine. I spray with my rose water as needed, use an oil as needed. Like when I tell y'all, this is probably gonna be like the quickest update ever. That's why I haven't been doing update videos because there's not much to update you guys on, to be very honest, so. Me being in school and then working and everything that's going on with life, I really do wish that it was easier to be more consistent for you all. But also it's like a mixture of not having the time and energy and then a mixture of not really knowing what to upload for you guys. A lot of y'all have been DMing me on Instagram like, girl, where are you? We need an update, we need something. So here is that something. I will be touching up the color. Probably for my next retwist. This is a week old retwist. Um, so as you can see, like up here is definitely fading and it needs some love. But I will be recording that for you guys because why not? I'm just gonna do a quick little close up for you guys. I'm loving the hang time, y'all. Like this is what I've really been waiting for is this hang time. I felt like the shorter pieces, like, in this area are finally getting longer like look at how long this one is now y'all this used to be up here and now it's down here i think the most exciting thing is when my clients be like dad's your hair got longer or dad's your hair's getting long i'm like stop it y'all know i don't know how to act i told y'all i was not gonna know how to act when my hair got long have i been doing styles no still a very tender-headed gal so me and styles are not friends still the most i'll do is some two strands to be very honest still kind of waiting for my hair to get longer before i really get into crazy styles but i don't know y'all we'll see we'll see we'll see i just love my hair being out now like I love it being out. I'm gonna stop rambling though. I want you guys to see the journey. So enjoy these next few minutes of some pictures. And my only advice is to keep taking pictures and videos of your journey. You will not regret it and you will be amazed at the growth that you will see over time. I figured it's probably gonna be easier to just say how many months I was in for the different pictures. I feel like sometimes with the dates, I don't know if y'all are the same way as me, but 
if I'm looking at two many different days, like I'm not keeping up with that. Like I'm not like, okay, yeah, that she's doing some. No, anybody got time for that? So I'm just gonna tell you how many months in I was. I will be making a way more in-depth video of the last two years with way more pictures and way more videos and talking about everything that I've actually done to my locks in these last two years because I have not recorded everything that I've done to my hair um, as you guys already know so I would love to make a video really going in depth but like I was saying earlier I don't want to make this video too long and also I just want you guys to enjoy these pictures and at the end I did some side by sides so you can really see how much my hair has grown these last two years. I'm looking at these last few pictures and I'm just like, this is so insane to see this. And I'm just so happy that I continue to take pictures and videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop those down below and I will see y'all next time. Bye guys.